The nation's report card shows eighth graders in the U.S. are scoring historically low when it comes to subjects of U.S. history and civics. Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Student scores in history dropped from 2018 scores, continuing a decline that started in 2014. But this was the first ever drop in scores in civics. CBS 8's Jesse Begon is here to break down the numbers and tell us why experts are really worried. Jesse. Yeah, guys, the National Assessment of Educational Progress, which works under the U.S. Department of Education, uses the report card as a longtime benchmark for American kids' learning progress. This year's records show kids are struggling in those two subjects, which experts say are even more important outside the classroom. History is more than presidents and battles. If our students don't understand the decisions that were made by other humans in the past, how can they possibly understand the world that they live in now? That's why Jessica Ellison, executive director of the National Council for History Education, says the latest national report card scores are worrying. It sounds dramatic to say that our democracy is at stake, but I think that's not so far from the truth. According to the nation's report card, 13% of eighth graders scored at or above proficient in history, 22% in civics. Scores in both subjects were lower across all levels of student performance, except for the very highest. I think they're avoiding some of the history that they don't want to teach. And experts say remote pandemic learning and a lack of support for teachers are the main things to blame. There is a fundamental distrust of teachers, they are professionals and, and we need to trust them. Whatever the cause, nearly a third of students are struggling to explain major events in U.S. history and can't describe how government works, leaving educators saying this is a wake-up call. Now, last year, the NAEP measured math and reading in California eighth graders. The data shows math scores were down from the last measurement in 2019. Reading scores stayed about the same. The NAEP has been keeping track of learning progress at the federal level since 1969 and in these subjects since the 90s. Educators, lawmakers, and researchers used the report card to develop benchmarks and educational plans, so you'll likely see these scores taken into account in class planning in the near future. Marcella?